I'm trying something a little bit different today and I've come down to the beach. Um, it's kind of an overcast day, so you can't see very far, but you can pick out small details off in the distance. You can see where Fluker is over that way. So I've spent the last 10 minutes wandering up and down this beach and there was a big jellyfish over there. So I've spent most of my time trying to work out which is the stingy bit. So I decided to come over here before I took that research a bit too far and found out. I think I'm going to try and do something a bit different today. I don't often do seascapes. They're not really my scene. And I think I might experiment with some long exposures, which I'm also not that keen on. So I'm just going to try and put everything that I don't really like together. And then hopefully I can start to like them a bit more. So. I want to go that way, Ulverston's in that direction. So we'll just have a bit of a wander and see what we can find. I haven't seen anything that I think will make a good picture so far, but we'll stop thinking about compositions, go for a wander and see what jumps out. All of the rock pools here are filled with cockle shells. Some weird seaweed looking stuff as well. I don't think that looks very nice though. We'll go a bit further. Quite like the idea of this one. See where there's a pool of water there. It's quite ripply. But if we do that long exposure, we can smooth all that out. I just dropped down to get closer and I think it's actually better from up on that banking. So we'll stick on the 135 mil and then work your composition out with that one. I think it was quite nice getting all the seagulls behind it, which I'm not sure how it's going to work with the long exposure with the birds, but um, we'll work that out now. I think this composition could work quite well. I'm not too sure what's around this next corner, but we'll go and check that out next. And there is some rocky patches out there, which hopefully we'll get in this picture. But I, I don't really want to walk out to them because the tide here moves really quickly and it's really easy to get caught out. And to be honest, it, it scares me a bit because a lot of people die here. Or have died here. It just like circles you and like loads of channels and then you, you're trapped. So. I'm just going to stay on the edge and then use a longer lens and shoot into it. I think that one looked better in my head. The bit that I like in the photo is the bit just where the water starts. You can see the reflections there. So I think it might be worth recomposing and just getting that middle bit. Nothing's working for me on that photo. Now it's actually come together, so we'll try something different. Okay, I'm not sure that's the right composition, but there's something in that. If you see them reflections in the water there, I'm doing a portrait with sort of five of them sticks. So this one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I think that works better there's too much empty space when I was getting all this area. I'm not too sure I need five. Maybe we can go down to three and then just get them ones that are reflecting. So maybe them three there. This is feeling a bit more promising. That first shot was really boring. This is getting slightly more interesting now. So we'll just fine tune it and find something that I like. So as we're getting closer, we're gonna have to go lower. so that we can still get them reflections. The one on the left hand side doesn't have much of a reflection, but we'll get this and then creep forward a little bit more. I think I like this composition now. We've got four of the poles. The three on the left have got more of a reflection than the one on the left. I'm not sure the one on the left has anything really, but I quite like having the even background. 
So I'm at F16, ISO 50, and I think it was a six second, yeah, six second shutter speed. I think I might try and get a composition with the three, just in case that works better. Odd numbers often look better. And then we get reflection under each one then. It's gonna be tricky to get a, a decent far ground with that though. No, I'm not convinced about this one. I think that middle one worked better there. Right back there, there was too much going on. In the middle, there was like a nice balance. But when you got too close, um, I couldn't get that composition. I think I've had to put a different pole in because it's got a like a, a cross beam going across it. One of these ones. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to have a bit more of a play here, see if I can find anything else that's quite similar to that. And then we'll probably go. No, I don't want to go that way. We'll go that way. There's some more of these things in that direction. I think that kind of thing is what I'm going to be after today. I feel like there's a composition looking down from like right next to the pier, down them beams that are going into the water. I'll give that a try. I think I've changed my mind slightly. I'm going to stay here. I quite like this composition. It's completely different to anything that I've done before. I'm just getting these sticks cutting across into the water. So it's sort of 50% dark, 50% light. But rather than doing it sort of straight across, I'm getting it to start about here and there. I've got a feeling this is borderline abstract photography, which I usually can't stand. But now I'm doing it myself, I'm quite enjoying it, which I'm not going to think into too much because then I'll stop enjoying it. But I've changed my mind about going right down there because I think I would just keep on walking and not stop. So I'm just going to move around this wooden thing and then try and find a few different compositions because I've moved like 10 steps each time and got totally different photos. So if I go over to that side, we'll get something totally different again. Maybe not better, but it's just a, a good chance to practice. And then, um, yeah, we'll work out what to do after that. I think it looked nicer on the other side. The main different thing I can see is where them posts were sticking through, like the, the vertical ones. You can see the back of them and they're held up with them support beams. There's some like fishing line or something there. I'm not so sure about this side. I thought I was going to be able to do something with these things. Maybe do a a long exposure. I suppose it does look nicer with the wide angle lens. I was thinking maybe get some movement with the water coming around and getting them beams. The other thing I could see is like the bits of rope and but that's just rubbish on a on a stick. Some rope as well. But that's just rubbish as well, really. And the water is kind of grotty down here. So it's not the nicest in pictures. So I think I'm gonna go back onto that other side and have a bit of a play there. Um, maybe there is a shot here. You might be able to get one, but I can't see it. It's just, I don't know. I just don't want pictures of like tatty bits of rope and stuff. I just don't know what I'd do with it. It'd just sit on hard drive. So I think I might end this one here. I'm just gonna play in that area for a little bit. So if I get any more pictures, I'll put them onto the end of the video. I hope you like the video. A little bit different today. Um, haven't decided what I'm gonna do next. I might head further down the coast or I might go and do some wildlife stuff. 
it's feeling like it might get a bit nicer so maybe there'll be a good sunset but we'll see but if you want to see more videos please hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time